Thank you, sir. For what you're doing, and uh, thanks. Lieutenant General Daniel Carbler, the commanding general of the U.S. Army Space and Missile Defense Command, recognizing some of his soldiers during a recent visit to Fort Meade. More on that in just a moment. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, Retiree Appreciation Day is coming up. There's a new app in town and a look at Fort Meade's logistics operation. These stories and more, but first, Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland hosted the latest town hall this week. The town hall was to have featured Dr. George Arlotto, the county school superintendent, but he was unavailable to appear. Dr. Arlotto is being invited back and will appear as scheduling permits. Meanwhile, Colonel Nyland was joined by Child and Youth Services Director Fran Jamison and Medic Commander Colonel Tracy Michael. And while a variety of issues were addressed, the one that created the most buzz was Halloween. The CDC came out with some guidance. The, 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 the Centers for Disease Control came out with some guidance. And that's really informed a lot of our thought and a lot of the guidance that we received from the senior commander and a lot of what, um, what County Executive Pittman's been dealing with. And so um, ultimately the decision uh, that I've made is to follow the CDC guidance, is to follow the scientists, follow the health experts, and we are highly discouraging traditional door-to-door -door trick or treating this year. We are highly discouraging it. And in that vein, the garrison will not endorse a time period or day for trick-or-treating. The colonel added traditional Halloween events, the Hallelujah Festival and the Seno Fort's very popular trunk or treat have been canceled. Instead, the garrison is organizing several low-risk activities that include a housing Halloween decorating contest and a post-wide scavenger hunt. In addition, the lanes are offering the Hallow Bowl. Watch for details on all these events on all our social media platforms and on digital Mead. Meanwhile, in other news, Lieutenant General Daniel Carbler, the commanding general of the U.S. Army Space and Missile Defense Command, met with some of the soldiers under his command during a recent visit to the NSA campus. He presented awards to some outstanding performers in the 53rd Signal Battalion. I just want to tell uh, all the operators at the WizOx how proud I am of the job that they do 24-7. It's complicated, it's technical, they are truly experts and I couldn't be any prouder of the mission that they're able to accomplish every day. The 53rd is one of five wideband satellite communications operation centers in the command responsible for securing and protecting satellite communications for a multitude of users on the ground and at sea. A recent example during COVID-19 is the uh, support that we were able to provide to the USNS Mercy and the USNS Comfort. As you know, those were hospital ships that were deployed on the East Coast and the West Coast uh, by order of the President. To, uh, to help augment medical support. Elsewhere, the Army has partnered with the Army and Air Force Exchange Service to create the Digital Garrison mobile app. The app is designed to integrate information from AFES, our website, and ArmyMWR.com. The new app means that the current Fort Meade app is being retired after nearly four years of faithful service on January 1st. The new Digital Garrison app is available for download now in all app stores. Meanwhile, the Defense Logistics Agency produced a profile on Fort Meade's DLA Disposition Services. We are at DLA Disposition Services, Fort Meade, Maryland. We are one of the primary activities underneath the Defense Logistics Agency. Our primary mission to, in supporting the warfighter is mainly we receive their old equipment when they turn it into us, and then we have to flip their old equipment into one of our numerous programs. So we are responsible for directly supporting the warfighter by providing reverse logistic solutions to ensure they have the readiness and the lethality across the globe. We have about 6,000 pieces of property. Range from regular pistols and pins up to aircraft parts and also kitchen equipment such as boilers and stoves. It's that we have full services from environmental to warehouse to scrap operations to satellite operations. We can handle anything they want to bring us. Finally this week, the 45th annual Fort Meade Retiree Appreciation Day was originally scheduled for October 23rd. Instead, this year, the retiree services will offer a virtual program, starting with a greeting from Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland and Command Sergeant Major Michael Benkendorf. Retirees, today is all about you. Thank you for your dedication and service to our great nation, putting on the uniform for more than 20 years of faithful service. We wish we could meet with you in person to celebrate your service with you, but health and safety come first. This pandemic has canceled many celebrations this year, but that doesn't lessen the thanks we give for your work in uniform, and for many of you, out of uniform too. Stay safe and stay healthy. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.